Sir, yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lord Brunson back at you with the back at you, and I am the best reporting on the Eagles. Before we get into the meat and potatoes, I gotta let you know that this video was brought to you by Print Champs, big print champs in the building. You know what we bring to the table. You know it's about the hurt season hats. You know it's about the ski mask howie shirts. You know it's about the state property DT shirts. Make sure you tap in with big print champs. Get all your merchandise needs met. And you know what I mean? Tap in with the merch store and see what you can find. Oh yeah, use code um bully10. Get 10% off of anything. You know the vibes with that. Also, I know you guys are back with the sports betting underdog fantasy. Got you guys covered. The link for the bio and that is as well. Always matching up to $200, man. Easy money, man. Get with underdog sports betting and have it your way for sure. Let's talk about it. The Philadelphia Eagles identify something that they need. Clearly, that's what this 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 debacle of moves means to me. The Philadelphia Eagles bring in linebacker Anthony Barr. Spent last year with the Dallas Cowboys. Had a really long, uh, had a lengthy career or a few seasons uh, with the Minnesota Vikings. Was one of the top prospects coming out of college out of his draft class. That draft class was stacked, actually. Odell Beckham, I think Mike Evans was in that draft class. It was just a crazy draft class. Uh, I think Aaron Donald was in that draft class. Crazy draft class. But, you know, he visits with the Philadelphia Eagles, and now news comes out that he may be signing with the Minnesota Vikings. So, even though we might not land Anthony Barr, this tells me that the Philadelphia Eagles are, in fact, looking to upgrade the linebacker position with size, speed, and athleticism because that's what Anthony Barr brings to the table. Um, with N'Kobe Dean being injured, going back on IR, there is a void to be filled in the linebacker department. Maybe we see uh, uh, Christian Ellis. I think he's still on the roster. I hope so. Maybe we can start seeing more of that guy, but I feel like, you know, we're... we're we're starting to see what the team deems as a concern. Because if you lose N'Kobe Dean for four games guaranteed, you're going to you're going to have to make something happen. And I thought Anthony Barr would have been a perfect rotational piece. Listen, I've been saying this. Anthony, I've been saying this. Nicholas Morrow, Cunningham, those are your guys moving forward. I hate the fact that we had to force N'Kobe Dean out there. I think that, you know what I mean, him being on the field, some of that was a reason why the defense looked so bad in coverage. I don't think N'Kobe Dean is very good in coverage, uh, especially in middle of the field situations. So, you know, um, I'm not saying Anthony Barr is a stud in coverage either, but N'Kobe Dean really hasn't been playing up to his potential, man. Let's call a spade a spade. Let's keep it a bang. So what the Philadelphia Eagles have to do is they have to diagnose what's needed. They have to diagnose what's best. They have to diagnose what would be the best method to gaining or, or, or to finding a, a valuable option in the linebacking department. So, you know what I mean? Kudos to the Philadelphia Eagles and Howie Roseman for continuing to make things happen. We know the trade deadline is over, but this doesn't stop Howie Roseman from scratching and clawing and sifting his way through the free agent market to see what's out there. So, the Philadelphia Eagles possibly are not are not going to get Anthony Barr. He may be going back to the team that drafted him, the Minnesota Vikings, because they are down, I believe, Jordan Hicks and another linebacker, and that's just a place of familiarity for him. But he should have came to Philly if he wanted to chase a ring. Uh, so you, we, have, we, we know that the team is concerned moving forward. We know that linebacker is a point of concern, but there are some really, really good cornerbacks available on this list. Um, the main guy I'm looking at is the guy from Pittsburgh. I, I would have liked him from a, from a rotational standpoint. Uh, but we'll see what shakes right there, man. So um, let me know in your comment. Let me know in the comments what your thoughts on the Eagles working on Anthony Barr, potentially losing them because he might choose to sign with the Vikings, and then us just announcing that we feel as though we have a need. We got a lot of haters out there, so sometimes it's not good to announce your needs. Not everybody knows we need a linebacker. I think everybody's going to try to, you know, throw a little money, more, a little more money at some of these linebackers to keep them out of our hands. Let me know what you think in the comments, man.